B Monster Laboratory here. Today we're going to be replacing a 6 volt halogen bulb and an inverted microscope with an Arduino 12 volt LED light source and a timer. Here's the microscope that we're working with. It's, uh, it's about 12 years old. It's the AccuScope 3032. It's an upright microscope. We'll go ahead and turn it on so you can see how weak the halogen bulb is. That hasn't always been the case, but you can barely see any light is shining on this white box right here. And we'll just open up the top here, just show you how dull it is. That's what we're going to fix in this video, so let's get started. I almost forgot, I want to show you the bulb that we're using in this microscope. It's the Philips brand 6 volt halogen bulb. And uh, that's currently what's in the, the microscope, but let's go ahead and put that LED in there. This microscope has a halogen light bulb in the top of it. And as you know, halogen light bulbs get very hot. In fact, it was left on for a prolonged period of time, um, maybe overnight, I'm not sure, but it melted the components and even the soldering joints and the light housing up top. Make a long story short, uh, it's not under warranty anymore. We're not shipping it back and paying for shipping and labor and new light bulb. We're going to fix it ourselves, and we're going to use a 12 volt LED light bulb with a 30,000 hour lamp life and it's pack of 10. We're going to try it out. It's low temperature. It's very bright, just as bright or brighter than a halogen bulb. So we're going to try it out and see what we can do on the cheap. And this project will be using an Arduino Uno or Elegoo Uno. We'll be using a single channel 5 volt relay. I've used those before. And we'll be using uh, 12 volt LED uh, light bulbs and we'll be using a 12 volt power supply, one that I can plug into the wall, 120 volt outlet, and then I convert it to 12 volt. It's pretty nice for my light. We'll be using a push button switch and a 220 ohm resistor with an indicator light. That's just a red LED. And the final project we'll be using, uh, connected to the Arduino, we'll be using a 22 gauge uh, copper wire. We'll be also using uh, this extension cord. This is just a regular extension cord that you can plug into a 120 outlet. We'll use that with the relay. And I'll mount this just on a piece of wood like I normally do. And I'll be using and I'll be using this junction box right here. And I'll put this uh, under the junction box just so no one gets hurt, no one touches it. This was pretty cheap. It was like $1.90. At, uh, at Lowe's, so um, safety first, right? Anyway, I've never used one of these types of adapters before that uh, that I got off offline here, and uh, the end of the adapter has a little port for the leads, right? And uh, you just match up the polarity. This is my uh, 12 volt LED light, and it tells you that it's negative right there, so that one's negative. You just match it up to the polarity on here. It says that this one right here is negative. You stick it in there and you screw it down right there and it'll clamp it in there. That is pretty easy. That'll be very easy to remove and replace. So I like that. Very nice. And like I said, you plug this end into the 120 outlet and it converts it to 12 volt. There's no one off switch with this. So you just plug it in and the light comes on, so that's what we'll do here. Just plug it in, just see how bright it is. And that is, that's very bright. That will work nicely. I don't think the camera does it any justice, but it is very bright. I wanted to go ahead and see if this light was going to be bright enough for this microscope. So I went ahead and put it in the top here. You can immediately tell that, that that circle there is way brighter than the halogen bulb was before. We're going to put it in the top of the microscope and we'll put a temporary cover on the top. Ideally, we'd want to 3D print a cover to go over that and hold the light, but uh, we'll make do with something temporary. I think this is going to be a great fit. Well, it turns out these switches didn't work for me at all. If you look on here, it says that they are uh, normal, uh, normal open and they aren't. In fact, they're uh, normally closed because the only way I could turn the light off was to uh, depress the button. So these were not working for me and 
I had to resort to uh, one of these micro uh, push buttons here, as you can see. Before I actually put this in place on a platform and start screwing things in and soldering or whatever it is I'm going to do to permanently put it in place, I wanted to go ahead and get a prototype to make sure that it worked first. So what we've got here is exactly what we'll see for our, for our final product, except I'm using a red LED and a 220 ohm resistor up here in place of the 12 volt LED that will be going into the microscope. So on the Arduino side of our 5 volt relay, we have the IN port right here, which is our relay port, and it is directly connected to pin 8 on the UNO board. We have the positive and negative ports here on the relay on the uh, Arduino side, and it is directly connected to my positive and negative rails right here, which is connected directly to the 5 volt and ground port of the UNO board. Now here we have a, uh, an LED. This is going to be my indicator light because if this light is on, I want to be able to see it and I'll, and I'll know that the LED light is on in the microscope. Because if you're standing right next to the microscope, you may not know that that light is on, but if you see this light, that's a good indication. Well, it should tell you that the, that the LED is on, so you can turn it off and we won't have people leaving the microscope on all night long again. So, this light here is connected, the positive leg is connected directly to pin 6 on the UNO board. Now the negative leg is connected to a 220 ohm resistor and then to the ground rail right here. For this button I have the uh, the top right uh, pin right here connected directly to pin 4 and I have the bottom left pin of this button connected to the 5 volt rail right here. Now the other bottom, the, the right side bottom pin is connected to a pull down resistor right here to keep the button low. It's a 10k ohm resistor and then on the other side of that I have that connected to the ground rail. And that is my connection on this side, the Arduino side of the 5 volt relay. I wouldn't focus too much on this side of the relay because it doesn't look exactly like it will with the, uh, the final product. For instance, uh, you don't see a 12 volt adapter here and you don't see a 12 volt LED. I'm going to use a two prong extension cord to connect the relay to the wall and because it has a little score here in the middle I'm just going to cut that open, separate the two wires and I'll cut the positive wire in half. I'll insert one end of the positive wire into the common and the other end of the positive wire into the normally open port. It can be frustrating inserting stranded wire into the ports of a relay. The easiest way to do it is to insert it when it is freshly cut and the strands are still straight, not bent. Here is the code for this project. 
we go ahead up here at the top and include some constants. The relay pin is uh, pin 8, the button pin is pin 4, and the LED is pin 6. And we also create a button state integer uh, equal to 0. Down here at the setup, we will call the relay pin and the LED pin outputs, while we call the button pin an input. And down here in the loop section, we've got the uh, button state. When the button state is high, so uh, when the button is pressed, the LED and the relay pin go high, and that will uh, turn the light on for 300,000 milliseconds, which is five minutes. And, uh, and when the LED and the relay pin are not high, they are off. So this one's pretty simple, pretty short, and uh, easy to do. Here is the schematic in case you had any questions about the connections. This turned out to be a really good fix for the AccuScope 3032. If you work in a research lab, you know that repairing equipment can be pricey. I invested a fraction of what it would cost to ship this back to the vendor for repairs. And I didn't alter the microscope in any way. I could remove this and put the original housing on tomorrow. So the light comes on with the push of a button and it'll go off in five minutes, but you can also manually turn it off by pressing the reset button that's located on the corner of your UNO board. Well, I hope this video was helpful, and at the very least, I hope that, uh, that it gave you some ideas for a project that you could do. That's all I've got for today. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you. If so, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. I'll see you again very soon.